Hi, uh. Hello, is it over? Yeah, I'm waiting, ready. Yeah, where, where was I, yeah? The, where the Uber told me to be, I'm in the small, I'm in the um, short stay car park. Uh, is a short stay car park? I think I can see you. I'm coming. Yep, I got you. All right. Uh, right. Uh, uh, is it easy for you? Oh, this is a uh, uh, is a big mini bus. Huh? So, uh, are you are you okay that jump in that mini bus? I booked I booked you. Uh, let me check. Hiya. Hiya, you okay? Yeah. Huh? I forgot the ramp at home. Well, ramp. you're about to get prosecuted then. Uh, I will call the police. Here and now. No, I guess. What? I call the police now. Well, why do you call the police? Because you have just committed a crime. What crime is it? What crime is it? But refusing to take a wheelchair user despite having a vehicle that is on a designated list of wheelchair accessible vehicles. Yeah, I, I know, but I just couldn't forget now. Yeah. So uh, I just forget the uh, ramps. Yeah. So I, I'm not. Uh, I'm you're not you're not you're using. Using. You the relevant equipment. No, I'm, You're I'm not going anywhere. anywhere, and I am calling the police right now. Yeah, so, well, yeah, call, call the police. I don't mind you call the police. Good. Yeah, because uh, I just forgot the lamps. Exactly. Yeah, so this is no crime. Yes, it is. No, crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you don't know your law. Section 167 of the, of the Equality Act 2010. If you require an alternative force, press. Where's George, please? How can I help you? I, I booked a wheelchair accessible taxi. I'm a wheelchair user. Right. He's turned up. He says he's just forgotten his ramp, which is a crime under Section 165 of the Equality Act 2010, punishable by a level 3 fine. Um, and I am at the Weatherspoons entrance of the station, so please can you get somebody from British Transport Police to come down? Right, as the taxi driver said, they'll try and get someone else? No, it's an Uber driver anyway, so he's self-employed. So and, did you um, inform the taxi driver that you was in a wheelchair? Yeah, I, I did indeed, and he's a wheelchair accessible taxi. He's on the designated list created by Bradford Taxi Celt under section 167. And so by failing to take me, by failing to ensure he's got the relevant equipment, he has um, committed an offence under section 165. I'm holding um, his taxi and refusing to allow him to move until the police come. Okay, and you said it's like um, an Uber taxi? It is, it's a Mercedes Vito. Like Mercedes? It's a Vito. Yeah. Yankee Echo 1 2, Yankee Whiskey Lima. So what I'm doing is I'm logging it for you and I'm getting. Um, the next available unit just bear with me thank you okay so i'll give you the log number uh, but we'll yeah. be passing it through to btp it's 1607 of today's day call back if any further problems thank you thank you bye, bye. they're on the way over no it's not okay and the victim of the crime that you just committed is not okay and don't laugh about it it's not good I know, it's under section 165 of the Equality Act 2010. I happen to be the country expert in doing research. I'm going to ensure that you are prosecuted here. Just as if you come out with protective clothes. 
just as if you would come out with effective brakes. Yes, it's, it's, it's the same, you know? Here you are, the duties are to carry the passenger whilst in the wheelchair. Yeah. You're not, are you? Yeah, because you've not brought the van. So, you're breaking the law. Here you go. A driver of a designated taxi or a designated private hire vehicle commits an offence by failing to comply with the duty imposed on the driver by this section. A person guilty of an offence under subsection 7 is liable on summary conviction to a fine not exceeding level 3 on the standard scale. That's a thousand pounds for not having your ramp. And then they will make damn sure you're prosecuted. <laughs> My senior support specialist here with Uber. Uh, I got some um, details there. Are you doing yeah. okay? I kind of yeah. am. I'm waiting for the British Transport Police to turn up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's certainly a step that um, you know we would encourage here because um, you know this isn't something that we can tolerate. Um, <laughs> you know, in, you you understand, I'm sure. Um, do you want to just tell me what happened? Uh, was there any yeah. interaction here or anything like that? Yeah, Yeah, I, I ordered an Uber, well, bear with me by the way, I'm a little deaf, I can hear you clearer than the previous operator. I, I, I ordered an um, uh, Uber wheelchair accessible taxi. W when he turned up, he tried to tell me that I should use a minibus. I was like, no, I booked you. But it turns out it's yeah. because he hasn't bought his ramp. No, he said to me, he said he's just arrived on duty and he's left his ramp at home, so he can't take me. Okay, which is um, an issue in itself. It's, yeah, you know? it's a, it's a yeah. crime under Section 165 of the Equality Act. You probably know, oh, 100%, I've, re yeah. I've reported yeah. a few of your previous drivers for failing to clamp me in properly or fit a seatbelt. And um, you were working with Bradford Taxi Licensing as a result. Well, this is another Bradford private hire Uber, and he's not not taking me. I mean, what I'm doing is I'm physically preventing him from leaving until the police come, and we've been waiting quite a while now. Okay, are you in the vehicle at the moment, is it? No, I am sat um, just directly outside its front right headlight in my wheelchair. Well done for calling him out, mate. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. I was accidentally muffling my microphone with my coat and also the battery was about to die on my camera but the police officer was excellent. She took the driver's details and challenged him for not bringing his ramp. She pointed out to him that he was driving an accessible taxi that advertised on its license number that it is wheelchair accessible, pointing to it repeatedly. She tried to send him home for the ramp but as he lived in Bradford and this happened in Leeds that wouldn't work pointed out that he had accepted a job that had specified a wheelchair accessible vehicle whilst knowing that he had no ramp. She made it clear that she was very unimpressed, then she accompanied me through the station and helped me get an accessible taxi from the rank, and checked he strapped my wheelchair and me in properly. I am thoroughly grateful and impressed and have tweeted my appreciation. He and Uber Bradford have sadly depressed me again though, doubtless being held at Leeds Station for over half an hour by me and for however long this took to sort out with the police will have affected him somewhat. Doubtless he'll hear from the police, Uber and Bradford Licensing Department in due course.